One Creve Hall man was able to rebound by making bagels. A pandemic passion has turned into a full-time gig. He talked to News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen about opening a brick and mortar. Breadwinner took on a new meaning when Ben Cornfield's health care job took a plunge during the pandemic. I just put a post on Nextdoor, right? And I just said, hey, anyone interested in sourdough bagels in the neighborhood? And it just like really took off from there. Delivering homemade bagels to pay the bills has turned into a full-fledged company. Uh, into the space in January. Took a long time, obviously, to kind of come up to snuff, and now we're, now we're rocking. There's literally zero bagels here. They sold out this morning. I have 60 pounds of cream cheese coming tomorrow. 500 bagels gone. Any more ads? I don't know. So eventually it'll be, hey, let's go to a bank. Let's invest in some bagel specific equipment. Ben has hired employees and he's constantly ordering new ingredients. I have like 600 pounds of flour coming in tomorrow. Eventually this space will be a cafe. We'll have a row of coffee machines back here. It'll be um, so much fun. It'll be a blast. If you don't have much time, that's okay. There's a little to-go window here so you can come on up and just grab your bagel and take it to go. Creve Hall Bagel Co. has come full circle and bagel making still brings Ben joy. A lot of it is great from the zen of like very repetitive motion for two hours. Like you get in, you chop, you roll, you set aside, chop, roll, set aside. As he figures out how to keep up with demand, Ben likes his new job title, Bagel Guy. I'll go to Creve Hall Park with my kids and everyone's like, oh, like, you're the bagel guy. And uh, so that's been cool. Reporting in Nashville, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5. Creve Hall Bagel Company sells bagels every morning except Tuesday starting at 630 until they're sold out. The shopping center is located on Trousdale in Creve Hall. It used to house a catering company.